So on behalf of our 200,000 members here in New Jersey, I want to thank you all for your commitment to public education and to ensuring that all children have access to great public schools that give them the tools and opportunities they need to succeed. For us at NJEA, that's more than a slogan. It's built into the DNA of our union because we can't be a successful union for public school employees unless we have successful public schools for them to work in. With all of these cuts to education, the, it is an insult to the American public that we are cutting in the areas of education. When you look at what's going on in our country, from Baltimore to Staten Island to Ferguson, at the root of it also is the hopelessness of our young people. When young people feel they have nothing to lose, and they feel they have nothing to lose because they feel there is no future, it doesn't take much to spark outrage when you're already angry. And what many people don't understand, and I've watched this young man, David, battle this in the White House almost every day, is that the people that are the only ones standing in between that desperation and that giving up, in many ways, are the teachers that teach in these public schools. Right. Um, one of the things that's really important for us as we do this work is to honor uh, the experts. And so we're going to start our conversation with the most important person in this room, and it's our student scholar who's going to demonstrate how brilliant all of our babies are. So when I saw that I had the opportunity to take PSI physics, I thought, like, why not? So my first day in class, I'm, I'm like, kind of hesitant about taking a class, but it was challenging. I liked facing challenges, so I decided just to take the class. And I had an excellent teacher, Ms. Benegal, and she walked me through everything. Like, if I was struggling, she'll take her time out to like help me. Like, I would come after school, but if I was like, if I was struggling, but I kind of got the hang of things, and like physics, it just became easy to me. The careers in STEM are the ones that are growing with you know exponentially with each passing year, and we also know that the number of ethnic minority students in our public schools is also growing and will soon be the, the majority. So we know that it's not just about the success of these individual students. It is about the success of our country.